Hello folks, um, welcome to a Lord Baron tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at editing Joomla articles. Um, we've done this a little bit before, we're going to have another look again today and look at some um, ways of editing your text using styles. Okay, we're going to go on to the car conversion website which is here. Uh, this is a website basically that lists some um, cars for sale and uh, also offers conversions for people who want to change their right hand car to left hand drive. Right. Um, let's get going. Basically, we've um, already done the article here. It's um, Peugeot 607 2, 2 HDI, and we took it from this Word document here. And I'm going to basically show you how I did that. Um, first thing you need to do is log in to um, your Joomla backend. So that would be the name of the website forward slash administrator. You get presented with your username and password. Let me just quickly show you that. Um, that would be the next page here, okay, so you log in, Joomla Administrator, log in with your username and password, then you want to go to Article Manager. Now we already have an existing article, if it's a new article you click New, if it's an existing one there's a filter here, you can either enter the name of the article or part of the name or the ID. Um, it's a Peugeot car we're looking at, so we're going to enter the word Peugeot, there's our Peugeot 607 2.0 HDI which um, relates to this article here, which is one we're changing, so we click on it, it opens up the editor, I'm using the JCE editor, I'll provide links to that editor um, in the uh, content of the video. Um, right, basically we have a few things here and I'll explain how we got it to this page. Um, we had the picture here, what we've done is we've saved this um, and rescaled it down in um, in Photoshop that's something else we'll look at but basically we ended up with the picture we also had some other pictures supplied in a um, which we then put into a gallery and I'll show you that quickly now click read more this is the preview of the article and then this is the full part of the article here's the gallery we click on bits and up pops a car okay so that's how the gallery works it's gonna close that um, that is a Utheme gallery, that's available from Utheme. If it's just take you back to the Utheme website here. This is Utheme. Um, gallery is part of the club extensions. Um, that ranges anywhere between 40 to 250 or 350 euros to join. Um, but they give you loads of really high tech um, latest gizmos for your website. Okay. Um, and that's what we're using here. The documentation on how to produce that is available on the website along with videos, so I'm not going to cover that here. But effectively, this is what represents the um, output of the gallery. Right, we've got a title here, and the title, uh, well, sorry, the title is here, which is then pushed to the top of the page like this. <laughs> okay. Um, then we have some main details about the car, so 2004 Reg Saloon, and basically, this is set to header 6, which is um, a choice of 1 to 6 headers, and it's the smallest one. It produces this grey um, output on this site, like here. And then the please call is header 5, which is one step bigger, and that produces, it, although it shows blue here, the out actual output is red. Okay. Um, and then we have some tick boxes, and these are again pre styled by the U theme. Um, template boys so but we basically use um, their documentation to produce these I'm going to show you where that is um, every website they de develop a framework for they also produce the the documentation to go with it and you can see this is our tick here it says UL with class check I'll explain what it is now okay so basically this is just text we've typed in um, and then this is also text we typed in but we've added bullet points but instead of a bullet point we've changed it to a checkbox and bullet points are created with a combination of two things first of all you'll see this bracket ul class equals check with a closing bracket that means basically we're going to be doing an unordered list it's a list that isn't numbered one two three four it's just a, it's just a list so like a dot this dot that um, to produce those individual um, dots, i.e. the sort of bullet points, um, you need to then enter li with the brackets around it and then li with a forward slash when you're finished for the, so that each one 
each word or each sentence you're going to put in is f surrounded by those to produce it and then you finish with a forward slash ul to tell the computer that you finished doing the list okay next up on there is this read more um, that's built into Joomla you just literally f where you want to separate your preview from your main article so this is the main article with the preview and if we go back one there's just a preview okay you just let you decide where you want to put it and you click the read more and it adds that in for you um, one other thing to look at is the image okay the image has been set to float on the right hand side and it's also been given some padding so it doesn't touch the edges of anything and the padding here is set to 10 in the margin I literally did that by clicking the image and clicking image there and it's popped up if you want to add new images this is the JCE editor I'll give you links to this you um, click anywhere on the screen where you want an image to appear click the little picture button click this little upload button click add find your picture hit upload and then hey presto uploads and then you press update or insert I think it changes to insert when it's a new picture and then it adds that picture in okay and then you can chop and change the style like this as well if you want to change the size and you can do other bits and pieces as well by clicking on the image button okay um, that's pretty much it this is a really simple bit here one last thing to look at um, I've done lists but they're in columns to do that I've just added a little bit extra here um, this is more Euphine frame framework this varies depending on which framework you're using but um, I'll always supply the documentation for this kind of thing or the links to it I mean, in this case it's Euphine that give you all this stuff um, and you need to add an inset left width 30 that basically says each column is going to be 30 percent wide um, and they're going to sit uh, on the left hand side okay and that's what you end up with um, to stop the um, gallery going um, on the left hand side as well I just did added this little thing here it's called uh, BR clear all basically it means break clear um, so you get a clear break um, and it's breaking everything so everything will then sit underneath um, our three columns that we designed okay so we hit save in this case I'm going to click cancel because I've already done it um, you hit then you uh, check your page make sure it's all working and uh, you should be good to go at that point um, there are changes in the Joomla site where you can stop the preview appearing on the main page but we'll look into that in another um, tutorial. Thanks for watching.